Warning, you might find the content here in disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. We have some more questions, Master. Um, well, we, somebody with you? No, no, it's just me, but I say we because the questions have come from um, uh, other staff. Oh. I ask them just in case if Master calls to send me some questions that uh, they want asked. Okay, good, good. Um, How many questions are there? Maybe about 20 or so. Maybe you didn't, you didn't count. Oh, 20? Oh, God, okay. Around 20, yeah. Yeah, we try to be brief, okay? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Master has said that we don't need to feed hungry ghosts anymore. Does that mean Master has sent them uh, away or liberated them? And does that include zealous demons? Yeah, either they go to heaven or they go to hell. Okay. So no need, okay? Yes. For you guys around here, yeah? Ah, okay. okay. The disciples also, they should not bother, okay? Okay. And... Uh, that, that means we don't need to worry about leaving food untouched for more than nine minutes? Hey, you better be safe then, sorry, okay? Okay. Just eat first and then work. Uh -huh. I, I know I tell you this, but I don't always do that. But it's okay, just, just uh, recite the holy God's name, yeah? Yes, Master, yeah. Eat, try to finish, okay? Before okay. you work again, okay? Yes, Master. I know sometimes we cannot because of our... Supreme Master television work deadline and all that. I also cannot. Sometimes I leave it and I forgot all about it altogether. And later, I can't eat no more. I don't have any more appetite. Understand. Maybe some insects or something uh, land on it, you know? Yes, yes. Oh, oh. I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> okay. Just uh, try if you can, you know? Okay. A few minutes, maybe you can afford it. Just eat it all, you know? Because it's better to eat all in one go. It's better for your stomach, okay? Yes, Master. Better for your health, okay? Okay. You you can just take a small portion on your plate first and eat that. And take another small portion, okay? In case you have to leave it. And you can eat again later, yeah? Okay. Just put them away, cover them, so that no insect will come hmm, and spoil it, okay? Understand. And Thank if you drink, you just uh, put it in a smaller cup and drink it. The rest you can still drink. Thank you. If you don't yes. have extra plate or extra cup, you just ask them to buy for you. Okay. okay? Um, we, we have some uh, questions regarding the, the COVID pandemic. Okay. Uh, most mainstream media have reported that the COVID-19 virus likely came from the wet market. Uh -huh. Why aren't more people making the connection between the virus outbreak, the wet market, and eating meat? Because it seems like a logical conclusion to make. Is their perception somehow being interfered with? Uh, any interference from other yes. things? Uh, yeah, this, this is the energy, this angry energy, this is unbenevolent energy in the world because of the karma that we made. And the heaven also feel very, very furious over our treatment to each other and mm. the lesser beings, you know, like animals, yeah? Yes. The lesser, but doesn't mean they are less. They are more intelligent. They, in the Bible, we say, ask the animals, and they will tell you. Yeah. Exactly. Ask the fish, ask the birds, and they will teach you. Remember? Yes, Master. Yeah. Animals have a position in the world, in the universe, in the eyes of God. And we treat them like dirt, more than dirt. It's not just about the killing, only terminating their life and uh, torturing. Yes, Master. Due to some uh, misbelief. Like you have to eat the flesh without the blood. It's not like that. When they mention blood, it means don't eat anything with blood. Yes. Meaning the life, we have life. It's like nowadays we have a saying, say, don't eat anything that has a face. Remember, some people say that. Yes. Some vegetarian people are advised like that. So the other people, we understand, you know, it has a face. That means it has a life. It has a soul in it. It has a living in it. Yes, Master. So... When, uh, when the old master say don't eat anything that has blood because it has life in it. That means have life. You don't kill any life. Yes. And then people now, they just cut the throat of the poor innocent mm -hmm. animal, let them quell in and, and, and spill in blood and while they are suffering and trampling to squeeze out the last blood and then they eat it. That is not it. Mm. No, master. No. 
You understand? I, I, I don't have enough words to say it. Understand, Master. Many, too many misunderstandings in religious uh, mm. uh, writing, okay? Misinterpretation, misunderstanding, and misleading humans all this <sighs> time. And, uh, and then they accumulate too much, too much karma. Torturing animals and, and cut their throat alive or skinning them alive and all that. This is the, the work of devil. Should not be a work of human. Yes. Should be the work in hell, not in the human world. Yes, Master. Yeah. For sure. I'm not afraid if they're angry with me or do anything. Just I have to tell the truth. Yes, Master. I am angry myself. It's understandable. Yeah, but this is also because of the work of the, the Satan. You know, they they push people to write it wrong, to interpret it wrong, just to harm beings, harm humans, and harm animals, so that the karma, as you saw, so, so you reap, continue forever in a circle. Then they can control all the time, because the beings can never be liberated with all these uh, horrible deeds that they do. And with war and with, with the animals. Okay. This is not your question, huh? Your question is to come from the wet market, from animals, right? Yes. Why aren't people making that connection that they should stop eating meat? They have even proof of that. They have uh, uh, make experiments with some of the uh, pangolin, and uh, they saw the strain of uh, COVID-19 in there. It's the same as the uh, strain in human, you know, in the beginning. So it stemmed from there, and I have checked inside that it really stems from the animals from there there's no other places okay. all the sources despite all the rumors it's not true the truth is the covid 19 stem from the animals uh, okay. wild animal from that wet market okay yes master even is it from other wet market or from somewhere else it's because it stem from wild animals okay and they carry by human all over Okay? All over China, all over the world. Because they are always tourists. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, Master. Or uh, exchanges of uh, humans' uh, resource, or humans' uh, manpower, or human study, uh, human uh, cooperating, yeah? Yes, Master. And there are always humans running around the world nowadays. Yeah, so very easy. few hours you're in China. A few hours you'll be in Europe. Etc. So the, the, the carriers bring the strain all over the world and it stems from there. Yes. So those rumors, because I saw on the internet, some media outlets were saying that um, maybe it came from a lab. No. No. It didn't come from any lab. It came from the wild animal, from the wet market. And exactly from Wuhan. I checked inside with heaven. And with the, the gods of epidemic, they they oversee many things, yes. Wow. I have to check with the exact god. I can't just talk to any god. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> they have their, their, their duty and they're into it and they're more detailed. Uh, even the Yosku god, not all of them in charge of everything. Okay, so there are other gods in charge of different departments. Yes, yes, and in this world, I have to ask the shadow god, like something I have to ask the, the god of war. It's not like he's making war. He's in charge of overseeing what happened in the war and make record. So he knows more than any other. I can't even ask the Oscar god for that particular question that I asked. I cannot tell you, okay? Okay, master. I don't want to tell you. I cannot tell you everything. Mm -hmm. Just a general. Even a, we have a, a saying that like a heaven secret should not be divulged. But I reveal too many things, yeah. When it's already happened, I can, but uh, if I re reveal it before, while I'm still alive and while I'm still fighting with the negative, then they will know it and then they will make it uh, upside down and say, I'll prolong it, delay it, obstruct it. Oh. Did I answer already all of your question about the animals carrying uh, oh. the virus? Yes, Master. Because some people also run around the world or for some reason, you know, business or whatever, uh, but they don't look sick. They don't even have any symptom because they, are, they have this immunity to that particular strain of, of COVID, okay? You can say that in scientific terms, but in a spiritual domain, we say because he, he doesn't have a bad karma for that. He has very good merit 
in the past life or in this lifetime to protect him. Yes. Or yes. her. Therefore, he can run around, he look healthy, but he can pass it on to other people while talking to each other, you know, face to face, or eating in the same restaurant, drinking coffee together and talking, and then the, the air carry out their droplets or the air they breathe carry out, spread out the, the, the virus. So the, the mask doesn't help 100%, but it helps somehow. Yeah. Actually, this is just physically speaking. Yeah, you have to really have good merit, benevolent merit in order to protect yourself. But we do what we can in the world. We do what we think is logical, is the best. We still wear the mask, wear the face shield, wear hat, wear gloves, if you absolutely have to go out. Yes. Yes, Master. Please refer to Master's General Hygiene Guidance. Log on to Master's Tips on COVID-19.com. And so you guys here are safe because you stay together and you don't have to go out. You just work inside, you know, the office in your vicinity and you have oxygen around because a lot of trees also help your immune system, yeah? We're grateful for that, thank yeah, you. Yeah, and we have a lot of sun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where you live, better than where I live, you know, it was raining all the time, almost every day. I never mind, but I'm also good immune. I'm stronger now. I told you already before, yeah? I was stronger. Long time ago, I said I feel stronger, yeah? Yes. Before, I, I was the weaker because at that time, the negative was too strong and the EOSQ has not been mature enough. Yeah, but after, it's better and better, better and better now. And sometimes I have sickness and even accident, but I recover very quick. Thank God for that. Or just pass it by. Wow. Today I'm thanking all the protecting gods, yeah, and heavens and whoever. I say, I don't care about my life. I can lay it down anytime, honestly, everyone. All heavens and earth know that. That's why they're helping me. Thank God. Because they know my love for humans and other beings. Every time I ask, will we ever have, you know, peace? I say, your love, we win. Oh. And now sometimes they say, your love and our love, you, I, yours, love. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the group, our group, you know, uh, you know, our disciples and oh, wow. who would like minded, yeah, we win. It just takes too too long for my liking. Even one more day yeah. is too long already for all the suffering animals. But I keep telling them, I don't forget you. I won't forget you. I won't leave you. Oh, thank God. Thank if you. If you suffer now, please bear it. I will take you up. I will take you back home. I will not leave one of you coming back here to suffer again. Oh, Promise you. them to the animals. That's the best I can do for them, for the moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I can never cry enough, my God. You don't know. You don't know how much suffering I, I bear in my heart because others suffer. Okay. Uh, yeah, Master. Master. About the, uh, the lab in uh, Wuhan, some people blame the Chinese for the outbreak. And the Chinese government, apparently, they've lost a lot of money because of this uh, closing of the market. Uh, why would they be blaming the Chinese? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, they blame each other anyway. Oh. The Chinese blame the American. Yeah. <laughs> American slap. <laughs> okay? Yes, Master. I told you already it came from wild animals in Wuhan. That's the origin. So, the thing is, the Chinese government has done a very big goodwill already, no yes. matter what. They have closed immediately the wet market where the wild animals are being kept and killed, you know, fresh there and other produce as well. They close it, close the wild animals' uh, meat uh, business, which uh, cost them a lot of billions of dollars, uh, uh, 70 plus billions of dollars. That's a big money for yes. any country to lose. So regardless, whatever rumors, I think the Chinese government and the Chinese people as a whole has done very, very big steps, big goodwill steps, and done a big favor to the whole world already, to the animals and to the better karma of the whole planet. So we, we can just thank them at least, okay? Okay. Not keep blaming back and forth, back and forth. You can blame forever, but the problem has to be solved. The problem is the pandemic. And they, the governments and the researchers of all over the world should be united together to fight this pandemic, not fight each other, yeah? Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. 
Master, some, some people or some governments have accused the Chinese of hiding the real figures of the dead and of the infection from the coronavirus. Why would they accuse them like this? And sometimes they're accusing each other. But it's, it, it could be true, you know? i tell you why. Yeah, Because in the beginning, nobody even knew that this is from coronavirus disease, okay, or infection. Nobody would know, even the Chinese wouldn't know. Even now, they, they just give it a name, but they have no idea of the nature of this uh, virus. That's why they couldn't find uh, the cure so easily, yeah? Some people with mild symptoms or easy to treat, and then they, they recover. But there is no exact cure and or vaccine against this virus. So of course, in the beginning, it was even worse. Nobody knew anything. The people, they just cough, 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 and then they just die. Mm-hmm. So they probably were diagnosed uh, as uh, pneumonia, yeah, or, or, or flu, and die. Only later that they found out that this is infectious and is an epidemic nature, then they begin to do more research. So the symptoms keep persisting similarly in different people. So they begin to notice that. So even China, where it originated, they wouldn't know, okay? They, they didn't mean to hide or anything. Maybe some would uh, try or thinking that it's better for the economy or for the uh, sake of the nation, or not to mention. Some maybe have that idea, or maybe some did that uh, on purpose. But uh, I don't think... Uh, Chinese as a whole want to hide it, okay? They just did not know. Maybe the figure would be more. Just like it is more now still, you know, more than the official uh, announcement of the death and all the infected people. Just that uh, it's difficult to figure out, especially the beginning. Uh, But you can see the Chinese has a good will. Very obviously, immediately they quarantine people and they treat their people and they did their best to continue contain it, and they contain it fast, okay, as much as they can. They're only human. They did what they can. They didn't mean to to hide, to infect other people. What for? They infect also their own people. And immediately they closed the wet market. We cost them $74 billion, you knew already. Yes, Master, yeah. Or more even, yeah? As, yes, I, I saw on the internet $74 billion it was valued at. Yes, so cannot uh, keep uh, blaming Chinese or blaming each other, you know, just have to try to work together to find a cure for people, people's lives at stake. Many doctors die, many nurses die already. Mm. We cannot just let it be for nothing and blaming each other, wasting time. Yeah. have to be united and find a cure quick as possible. Pray also, even the government or anyone who should, should pray f- to heaven for more leniency so that they can find a cure quick to mm. save lives. And be vegan. Advise everyone to be vegan. That's the best solution, okay? Not blaming each other. Huh? Makes sense, Master. Okay. okay. Um, I think, you know, uh, they uh, accusing each other, blaming each other, uh, because they, they're so, so worried also. Especially the leaders, they, they have big responsibility. And facing with this kind of pandemic is like uh, never known before. And don't know what the future will bring. So they just uh, acting out of worry, you know, anxiety, uh, panic, you know, frustration. Mm-hmm. They don't really mean anything bad, I don't think. Okay? Yes, Master. Just like sometimes uh, the parents, when the children are ill, you know, and they just worry so much, they just, you know, talking loud to each other or argue or blaming each other, yeah? Yes out of worry, you know, because they have great responsibility for their nations and their people, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. They just, they don't know what to do. Ah. Uh, you can see it's a very uh, uh, desperate situation for them. It is, yes. They just say anything, but they don't mean to blame or accuse anyone. It's just a kind of confusing, okay? Yes, Master. It's human emotion, okay? Mm. They even say it came from uh, a lab in America. But nevertheless, these rumors has a good point, okay? Yes. That humans should never tamper with this uh, uh, dangerous substance, yeah? Uh-huh. Like uh, bio-warfare, you know? Yes. Something like they use a virus or bacteria to kill enemies. Yes, yes, ma'am. They have no enemies mm. except Satan, okay? Except devils. 
Yes, we have the devils. We have no enemy. Okay, we all have one common enemy: the devil. That's trying to separate us. That's trying to ingrain, uh, you know, negative thinking or warlike thinking, or uh, killing idea in our head, and and harming each other, and warring with each other, and quarreling with each other. This is the only enemy we have: the devil. Okay. Yes, master. Satan, Maya, mm. and their subordinates. Yeah. Uh, oh, to talk about that, oh. that pain, I'm telling you, physical pain. Oh no! I really hate these guys. I don't wrong, normally hate anybody, but I hate these guys. Oh, I never feel sorrow, repentant, or remorse to send them to hell. They will be okay there, you know. They don't suffer the way we do. Oh really? No, they have their own world, and they just do what they do. Oh. They want. So I'm not like punishing them anything. I just lock them up so that they don't harm us or any innocent beings anywhere anymore. You understand? Yes, Master. Hell for us is terrible because they keep punishing and torturing souls down there, okay? Yes. Because the soul has not shed all the bodies yet. They still have the astral body. And it feels painful just like you have physical body. Yes, Master. Because it's the second level of the body. So if... They put you in hell. You suffer so much, just like you suffer here. You feel it. Mm -hmm. And it feels like forever, of course. But for them, hell, they don't punish themselves. Yes, Master. They can just stay there and do what silly, stupid, evil thing they do to each other or themselves. I don't care. If they want to punish, torture each other, go ahead. Okay? Let them take the medicine. Yes, okay. Their own medicine. Okay? Yes. That's what I said. I'm always angry. Sorry. <laughs> Understand. Uh... Are you think Master never... Uh, lose temper, but I do lose temper with this, with this evil being. Okay. Yes. Don't tell me about them anymore because I get blood pressure. <laughs> okay. Because I get mad. I have to confess to you, I get mad. Okay. Understand. Not always calm and cool and place it and composed the way you think. Yes, master. Not with them. Not when it comes to suffering of others. So it's good to mention that the human should never temper with this anymore. Stop, destroy all these labs, okay? Yes. Except when to conduct some experiments just to help humans to cure. Okay, master. Not for war, okay, huh? Yes. Yeah, if you cannot handle it, then don't do it. You know, because it will harm you and harm outside people if it leaked out. And if the bacteria or the virus leak out, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's dangerous. It's why aren't people making that connection? Because it's uh, it's in mainstream media uh -huh. that um, it came from Wuhan. You know, most likely it came from Wuhan, from yeah. a pangolin, from that is definitely hundred percent. I check inside with heaven. Yes, definitely from Wuhan, from our animals. Thank you for checking. Yeah, yeah. So why aren't people in the world changing quickly enough yet? Because they're not making the connection. Okay, okay. Yes. They don't want to. Oh. But there's any excuse we do to blame anything except their own uh, habit to a meat-eating diet. Because I cannot put down that piece of meat and replace it with a piece of uh, vegetable protein. So they just say anything. Don't listen to it. It's not true. Yes. They just don't want to put down that piece of meat. Either be too ignorant or too attached or too habitually ingrained by the negative, by evil power. And yes. it's difficult for them to shake it off just yet. Yes, and I tell you a joke just to, to make it light, okay, huh? Okay. Three workers go to work together and one of them named maybe John, okay? Mm -hmm. Say that if today I have a cheese sandwich again, I will uh, jump down from this building. So he opened and there's a cheese sandwich. Oh, he jumped. Yeah, it is not so funny, but it's funny in a way, okay, huh? It is, yeah. And the next uh, worker, before he opened, he said, Today, if it's a potato salad again, then I will jump also. And he opened his potato salad. So he jumped. So the third person said, Today, if a uh, gula soup again, then I will jump. So three of them all jumped. And then at the funeral, the three wives talk together. Yes. And the third one said, I don't know why Thomas did not tell me that he doesn't like gula soup. If he did, I would have made something else, okay? 
because uh, when I met Gula Soup the first time we met and he said he liked it so much, so much, he could eat it every day, okay? <laughs> so I made it every day. I'm so sorry about that. And then the second wife, she said, if Olivia told me that he didn't like potato salad, I, I would not have made it. But the first the time we date, you know, I made it for him and he said, oh, this I can eat every day, you know? <laughs> he loved it so much. Mm -hmm. That's why I make it every day. Why didn't he tell me that he had enough and then I would make something else? Yes. So the third wife, the one that first jumped, say, I don't understand join either. If he didn't like cheese sandwich, then why did he make it every day for himself? <laughs> Oh no. So we make our trouble and we try to blame anything else. We just change it. Yes. Don't eat animal anymore. Then we don't have this animal transmitted disease at least, right? It's so obvious. Yes, master. Very obvious, master. Yeah, we have mad cow disease from cow, no? Yes. We have pig disease from pig, no? Yes. We have fish something disease from mercury from fish that's undetectable. Mm -hmm. It's incurable as well. Yes, Master. Or salmonella from eggs, yeah? Yes. From chicken. We have bird flu from chicken, etc. From other fowl species, etc. So it's all from animals. Up to now. Yes. Up to now, all the, the terrible disease and epidemic, uh, pandemic we had is from animals. So it's obvious. What for blaming any lab? Exactly. A lab. Oh, yeah. God. Okay, huh? Okay, thank this you. This is so obvious. Look at the history, yeah, of all this pandemic recently, not to talk about longer ago, yeah? Yes. The, the Spanish flu also came from animals. Yes, Master. It killed 500 million people, I I read. The second wave killed the most. Yes, Master. Altogether, 500 million people. Imagine that. That's Unless we don't want to live anymore, go ahead, continue. Even the animal being tortured and hurt my heart so much, I can take them up to heaven. It is the humans that I'm worried about. Yes, Master. You know, waiting in this bloody sinful act and cooperation. Yes, Master. By eating it and supporting it and condoning this kind of animal's torture and killing. Huh? Yes, Master. Noble viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode entitled Whoever Repents Will Go to Heaven Part 2 of 3 on Between Master and Disciples, which took place on April 29, 2020. Coming up next is multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 89, Lord Kalki Avatar, Vegetarian, and the New Satya Yuga right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the loving kindness that you spread open the doors for peace and friendship for all. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.